Opening night provides perhaps one of the more unique feelings in all of sports, a brand new season. It provides a fresh slate with optimism and buzz around the town, running on high. Puck ends up in behind the Fayetteville net. Jansen shoots, he scores! 16.02 to go in the second period. Who else would open the scoring for the year? Mac Jansen fresh off a 29 goal campaign. It's his first, and we're tied in the Star City one to one. Roanoke moves to one and zero on the young season. Hugs around for all the dirty dogs. Four to two, your final score from Berkwood Center tonight. Pepe keeps it in for the dogs. He back in it from distance, and he scores. Oh my goodness! Just threw it on net, and Brendan Pepe gets his first goal. Check that, it's Billy Bizzo that tips it on the Brendan Pepe shot. The Dogs lead one to nothing over Fayetteville, 10.45 to go in the first. Pepe with three seconds to the near corner, Jansen throws it in front, rebound chance, they score! Billy Bizzo right at the end of the period gives Roanoke the lead. Jansen will jump on the dog pile, four side class. Bizzo with his second of the night. They get the advantage with just .3 ticks left in the period. And that's how this one ends tonight. Roanoke with their franchise record setting ninth win in a row. They take down Fayetteville two to one on Christmas Eve. And now we've got a fight in the Roanoke bench. There's a Knoxville player in the Roanoke bench. Jazzwell's on him, Raiden's on him, Dan Primner's right in there, and there's players in the Roanoke bench from Knoxville. We still haven't seen who, or who they're going after. Now Cougar's got a man tied up over the wall, that's Brendan Pepe. It's Rex Moe in the bench, he went after Spencer Kennedy. And the Knoxville bench is emptied. Everything's moving into the Roanoke bench. Bunch is being thrown. Dan Brimner is kind of standing over top of everybody. Matt O'Day is trying to clear guys off in his own dasher that separates the surface from the Roanoke bench. It was Rex Moe that had gotten a hit about 20 seconds before away from the play. He jumped into the Roanoke bench to go after Spencer Kennedy. Up down to the goal line to Jansen. Jansen roofs it. He scores! Power play goal for Mac Jansen. The captain brings one back. It's three to two Knoxville with 404 to go in the second. But Mac Jansen able to end the power play streak for Roanoke and get some life back to this crowd. What a rip from the Roanoke captain. Fourth shot saved by Stead. Rebound. Score! It's CJ Stubbs and we're tied in Roanoke. comes Jansen after the huge major penalty kill and the dogs have turned a two goal deficit into a tie hockey game with 6.43 to go in the third. It's CJ Stubbs on the rebound of the Nick Ford shot. Ford able to win it back, Valerian shot, he scores! CJ Valerian gives Rodolf the lead with 34.2 to go in the third. It's four to three Rodolf over Knoxville. I can't believe what I have seen tonight, but CJ Valerian may have just capped off the Roanoke comeback. And Roanoke pulls off the comeback in one of the more unbelievable games you will ever see in the Southern Professional Hockey League. Roanoke four, Knoxville three, your final on this Friday night. Valerian out to the far wing, Ford's gonna try one, he shoots, he scores! Power play goal for Nick Ford, 31.1 to go in the second. 
Rono cuts it back to a two goal game. It's four to two Knoxville. Jaswell will go out to the far point for Alvo. 15 seconds to go. Alvo's shot. He scored. It's tipped in by DeVito. Lightning strikes twice. Rono has brought this to a one goal game. It's Knoxville four. Rono three. Nick DeVito second of the night as he tips the Alvo blast. Ford dangles to the bottom of the right wing circle. Still Ford centered inside for Nuno and scored! Tie game in Roto, four to four. A power play goal for the dogs with 15.29 to go in the third period. And it's the captain, Mac Jansen, that does it. Three unanswered by the rail yard dogs. A four to one game has become four to four. And a lot of time left to go at Berglund Center. Centered through the paint again. That one was deflected once again. This time, Josh Ninadol, who slams O'Shaughnessy against the near side wall of the Roanoke zone. Zemlitska's clearance kept in the zone by Conger. Conger's pass out to the blue line to O'Shaughnessy was kept, but O'Shaughnessy gets laid out by Ninadol. And then back to the near side, a huge save for Rotobush, and then it came off the post as well from in behind the Roanoke net. Oh my goodness, he was kicked away on a Williamson chance, and then a deflected shot off the skate of Simlitska. It's a huge clearance for Roanoke. Williamson had a wide open net. Minidol with another huge hit. Jordan had a chance for Roanoke. Here comes Brady Hepner down from left to right, dangling on the breakaway. He shoots, he scores! Short handed goal for Roanoke. It's 5 to 4 dogs with 5.07 to go in the third. Unbelievable in Roanoke. Josh Schindel, the human wrecking ball, freeing up Brady Hepner, and he goes in and short handed. Roanoke has come from three goals down, maybe Knoxville, five to four, and one of a franchise record 7,015 fans in attendance. A two goal deficit last night, a three goal deficit tonight. Roanoke cannot be kept down, even with four players suspended. Travis Armstrong and Wojtek Zemlitska joining the crew tonight. The Dogs who trailed four to one, which is 23 minutes to go in this game. Rip off four unanswered. Nick Ford, Nick DeVito, Matt Jansen, Brady Ebner after the Vito's opener. It's a 5-4 win for Roanoke. That's gonna feel like a million bucks. We're gonna get a goalie fight! Holy smokes! Trevor Babin wants after Rotobush! Mitts are good! Helmets good! Rodebush wants to go southpaw. Second fight developing with Valerian and Matthews, but we're all locked in at center ice with Rodebush and Babbitt. Left hand for Rodebush will get the jersey of Babbitt. Two rights from Rodebush, now a right from Babbitt. The fight ends between Valerian and Matthews back behind the play. Another right from Rodebush. Another right from Rodebush. Two of them over the top. Now the lefty, and he gets wrestled down to the ice. He'll break it up. They're still trying to go at it. The line's been diving in. I don't think Austin Rodebush has been in a goalie fight in a rail yard dogs uniform, but he gets one tonight. Holy pot of time. Austin Rodebush will pump the crowd up. 